Alrighty. Let's do this. My name is Nicole McLaughlin. Um, I go by Nikki majority of the time. Um, and this is my first YouTube video. We are going to ignore my background and the crinkles in it. We're just gonna get that put right out there. In today's video, we are going to be doing um, a get ready with me, but I'm going to be using my BoxyCharm this month. That's exciting. If you don't know what BoxyCharm is, it is a um, subscription, a monthly subscription. It is, I believe, 21 in around that price range. Um, and you typically get five, majority of the time, they're full-size products. Every once in a while, they will throw in one that may not be full-size, um, but it's at least like a deluxe sample size. So we are gonna go and do a full face using um, some of my favorites right now and also incorporating this month's box in there. If you guys like this video and want me to continue doing monthly um, BoxyCharm um, unboxings, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and also subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. So let's go ahead and get started. This month's box, I'm actually really excited about this month's box. How many do I get here? One, two, three, four, five. I got six items this month. Um, typically they're normally only five. So I'm gonna pull out, I did take a peek beforehand so I knew um, what I needed to grab um, for the makeup and that kind of stuff. So first thing is going to be the Cover FX Blurring Primer. Now I have never tried that. Let me get my little handy dandy card here. Um, this says that it's a lightweight, soft focus primer that blurs the appearance of pores, fine lines, and other imperfections, creating a smooth canvas for flawless foundation application. This is typically retails for $38. Oh, can you see that? It's got like a tint to it. This feels super like silicone-y. I don't even know if I want to say silicone-y. It's almost like a liquid to powder primer. I typically don't like these primers because I feel like a lot of times will sit on the top of your skin. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. Moving on, we're going to use foundation and I'm going to be using the Healthy Elixir Foundation from CoverGirl. I have two shades right now because I am self tanned, but it's like I was trying to get it off today in the shower, so we are like in between. So I think I'm more 705, which is their lightest shade, but I'm gonna put a little to 710 in there. Oh, and I'm using the um, Real Techniques Face and Body Sponge for my foundation. Casey Holmes uses this all the time and it's got me hooked. Next, um, concealer, and I'm using the Revolution um, Conceal and Define, the full coverage concealer from them. The one that they say is like a dupe for Shape Tape. I'm going to be using the Cody Airspun 
loose face powder and I am using it in naturally neutral and I <laughs> I'm different than everybody else I actually use a dry beauty sponge then and go in and bake my face <laughs> that I have. It's just like a fluffy powder brush. And I'll dip it into that powder. And I'll knock it all up. And then I just go over my forehead because I do my eyebrows next. For brows today, I am going to take, this has like been my favorite lately, which I don't think I hear many people talk about, which kind of upsets me a little bit because it's so good. And it is the It Cosmetic Brow Powder Universal Brow Pencil. And it is in Universal Taupe, I believe. But I do have darker hair and this does work for me. So don't let the word taupe scare you. You can build it up or you can be super light handed with it. So I am done my brows. They did not want to cooperate with me today. But you know what? They are sisters, not twins. So now I'm going to, with my EcoTool stippling brush, it's the big um, stippling brush there, I'm going to brush away my bake, but I'm also going to use the leftover powder on my face to set the spots like on my cheeks that I didn't hit. Now I'm going to bronze up my face a little bit. I'm also going to use another EcoTools. It's a little bit smaller, densely packed stippling brush from them. So I'm just going to rub that around in my butter bronzer from um, Physicians Formula. It is in the color bronzer. <gasps> don't, don't, don't. Okay, we're good. So I'm just going to take that and bronze up the cheeks a little bit. Okay. Put a little color in there now. Alrighty, so on to another boxy charm. I'm just gonna use two of them. Um, two products from Boxy. First one is going to be the Pure Cosmetics Sculptor Palette. Um, it is a four shade sculpting palette that features two high beam highlighters and two matte contour shades that will leave the skin sculpted to perfection with highly pigmented and buttery formulas. So the cost on this is $30. Let me get in here and I want to swap. Whoa. Oh. Mmm. It smells like chocolate. Wow. These are super pigmented. Let me try the highlighters now because... Dang. Wow. Those are really pretty. Can you see those two bottom ones there? Now, the second item that I'm going to use is going to be the... It's a brush. <laughs> and it's the P12 face brush um, with syn synthetic fibers that allow for maximum control. The P12 face brush is perfect for creating a seamless look. This bad boy is $27. You're $27. Okay, so I'm going to go into the Pure Cosmetic um, palette. And I'm going to take the shade Inventor. Whoa. That comes off a lot. We're going to just see. Okay, that came out a little heavy. This shade is not typically one I would go with. Only because 
it gets a little muddy looking on me. I don't know if it's the product or if it was this brush, but this brush is definitely too flimsy for me. And for contour, it does not give me a precise enough line on my face. Um, I think it would be pretty good for bronzer, though. Like, you could really get in there with the bronzer with it, but for contour, I don't think I like it. I'm going to have to play around with those colors a little bit more and the palette just in general. I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed because I was really like after feeling those those felt really good but I just I don't know but I am going to take this MUA Makeup Academy Professional Stippling Brush so I'm just gonna see if I can blend and soften wow they're super blendable which is really nice So if you do, I guess that creamy consistency really helps with that. So if you do go in like a bit heavy handed, you can kind of just go in and you have a lot of play with the product, which that I like. So this product might have just made a comeback. Okay, so I am going to go into blush now and I'm going to take the Milani Baked Blush. This is real crusty packaging in Luminoso, probably one of my favorite blushes. Um, this is the Pointed Blush um, BMX 130 brush. I did get this in Boxy one time and it has become one of my favorite brushes for blush. It just really distributes the product really nicely without getting too heavy. I am going to go back into that Pure Cosmetics um, Sculptor Palette and I'm going to take the highlighter in there on my Luxie um, 522 Tapered Highlight Brush. I'm just going to go in here and we shall see. Oh! Holy cow! Okay. I'm going to need one of those in a bigger pan size. That's stunning. I'm going to take it down the bridge of my nose, like right here. On my chin a little bit and over my cute as well. Okay, so my next step is I typically take some Max Fix. Plus, and I will spray my face for the first time. Oh, what happened? I wish you could see the spritzer. It's like a line drive to my face. So maybe I won't do that. All right, so we are going to go in to the eyes now. I have two palettes. Um, I'm going to be working out of the Morphe and um, Jaclyn Hill palette, which is possibly one of my favorite palettes of all time. So I am going to take my Wet n Wild um, fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to go into Silk Cream, which is the third one on the top row. And I'm just going to buff that into my crease. And take, uh, let's see, I guess we're going to go in with Pukey in the crease as well. Just right, pretty much in the same area. I'm going to go into Central Perk. It's that super dark shade at the bottom. Now I'm going to take that in super sparingly. Like super sparingly. Because she's pigmented. Just gonna take real quickly that 
first original brush and I am going to take just a little bit more product on that. And again, that one I used was Silk Cream. And I'm just going to go right over the top. Um, I think I'm actually going to go back into that Sculptor palette from Pure. And I'm going to use that shade that I used on my cheek. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna actually go in with the deeper shade. The It's called Trailblazer. And I'm going to take that on a flat brush. This is actually from the Naked Palette. <laughs> I still have that. So I'm gonna just take that brush with Trailblazer on it and I'm gonna just run it over my eye. I'm gonna take, they sent me another set of brushes in the BoxyCharm this month and it's the same brand, it's the Aesthetica um, three-piece three eye trio set and it costs $45 for these three brushes. It looks like one is for eyeliner, um, a spoolie, and then this one is like a thicker angled brush okay. yeah it's like a thicker angled brush so I don't really know what you would use that on because I don't think I could use it on brows because it's a little too thick and same with eyeliner it's really thick so I'm just gonna sneak that brush and use the first highlighter shade the originator I'm gonna put that on that brush I'm just gonna go right in my inner corner with that I'm going to go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm actually going to take those colors that I used on my crease and I'm going to take them underneath my eye. So I'm going to go right in with Central Perk and just go right under on the outer, just the outer corner. Just right there on the outer corner. And I'm going to take Pukey and a mix of that Silk Cream on that little brush and blend out the outer color. The final product I'm going to use from the BoxyCharm this month is going to be... Oh, I lied. I have one more. Uh, the Pretty Vulgar Ink Gel Eyeliner. Um, and this retails for $24. So I am going to take this, the Aesthetica um, brush that came in the set that I got. It's just an eyeliner, super thin brush. Let me go down in here and see what we're working with. Whoa, now she got some. Just gonna do a super pretty thin line. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my false lashes that I have here. These are the Kiss Lash Couture. It looks like these are in the little black dress. I'm pretty sure I've used these before. And I really liked them. Okay, so I did go ahead and pop on the lashes off camera. The last product in the box this month. And it is the Beauty Creations Liquid Lip Gloss. Okay. Let's talk about something real quick because I have an issue with this. On this package, it says matte lip gloss. Explain to me how you can have a matte lip gloss. Like, is it just a satin lip or like velvet lip? Like, are we actually, I don't understand how we're going to have the matte and the gloss effect. Um, okay, 
So this is retailing for $10. Now I don't really wear this color very often. My lips are so gross looking. So let's get... Mm -hmm. It reminds me of like... My childhood. The smell. Let's go over the products that we started with. Um, the Cover FX Blurring Primer. You know, I actually, after really disliking this at first and disliking the feel, I really like it now. I don't know. I would have to try this out a little bit more before I can give like a full review on it. Um, next one we'll go into is the Sculptor Palette. Um, from Pure Cosmetics. Um, you know, I love the highlight shades. Like, this is worth everything just for the highlight shades. Like, it's so good. Um, the, I'm gonna have to play with the, um, contour a little bit more to see maybe if it was just the brush that I didn't like or if it is just the formula because it is so creamy that I don't know if it's too creamy. Um, yeah, so let's go into these brushes. These bad boys are expensive. I am, uh, I don't know. I'm weird about spending this type of money on a brush. Now, don't get me wrong, we did get it in the box, but like to go out and like recommend you to go buy these brushes, I don't think I would. Um, I would say go to Morphe, get, you know, a lot cheaper brushes. I mean, they, this one brush would be like, Four bucks on Morphe. Um, this one maybe, may, oh. And I, stop. Can you see this? That just, it's hap like I'm pulling hairs out of it. Literally. I'm still going. I'm really disappointed with this. $27 for this brush that I just pulled and I'm still pulling a crap ton of hairs out. No, 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 no. And these little guys, $45 for three brushes, a liner brush, a angled brush that you could, I guess, use for brows. I would not use it for a liner, it's too thick. And a spoolie for $45. Forget it. And the last thing is the Pretty Vulgar. I'm not a fan of the packaging on this. Um, I Again, I like the product. Um, it is $24, which I don't think is bad for a liquid liner. Um, another one, I don't know. This box was rough for me. Normally I'm like, I love everything, but this was a little, little bit of a for me. Alrighty, I'm going to wrap things up um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm excited to film more. I want to hear your guys' feedback. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, what type of videos. Um, I'm hoping to get my husband back here with me. Um, and I promise we will take care of this. All of, I have a setup coming. I'm excited for but it is just, I gotta get it all worked out and how I wanna do it. But yeah, so let me know down below what you wanna see next. Like, subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!